Okay, welcome to a little walkthrough on adding some documents and getting things set up to start using Dropbox so it makes sense. It's pretty important for organization if you make folders where things are going to go and keep an idea of how you want to use Dropbox beforehand. If possible, nothing's perfect. I don't always practice what I preach, but it's a good idea to do that. So to start with, I'm in my Dropbox folder. I'm going to make a new folder here. And I'm going to call this folder, let's call this one work. So I got a nice work folder. I'm going to make another folder, so go file, new folder. I'm going to call this one home. And let's make one more folder here called pictures. These might be important pictures. I want to make sure they're backed up or I want to share these with someone later on. So now I have these three items I've added and you can see the check mark makes sure that they've been synced. These have been uploaded. These have been synced to the server. Now in the background in Safari, I actually have my Dropbox account open. And as I made these, they've instantly been added. I didn't need to refresh or anything. So in this work folder. Let's open this one up and I'm going to make a new finder window. I'm going to go into my documents and I'm just going to grab a couple of these items here. So let's grab a history of flight and let's grab bookkeeping, beekeeping numbers. That's a numbers document. I'm going to grab these and I'm going to put these in my work folder. And when I put these in my work folder, they'll be uploaded to my Dropbox. And you can see how it's been the chat mark right there that they've been updated. And let's go into work on the website and here are these two files. So these are available on every machine that's registered to this account. And we can also, let's make a new folder here, I mean new window again, and I'm gonna add something else. So let's go to my documents and this time I want to add a JPEG and I'm going to put it in my pictures. When I do this one, it's a little bit bigger and you can see my pictures folder right now is syncing. This icon here, the blue icon with the arrows, that means it's syncing to the server and it's been done. And now I'm going to add another item to my home folder. I'm going to put this bikes one because it's a little bigger and I want to explain the process on how to check out the status. So I'm going to drop it into home. It immediately turns into a blue circle. I can also look up here on Dropbox and it's telling me it's updating 17 of these files and it has 20 seconds left. So it's updating that larger file now. And once again, if I go into my Dropbox, I can go into my photos, that's the one, uh, pictures rather, that's the one I added. And you can see there's that one JPEG that I had. And you can preview JPEGs within the browser. So that's it. Now every device will have those items in their Dropbox folder. There's a little bit of syncing. So if you uploaded a large picture and you immediately turn on the other computer, it will have to sync with it. And so it will take a few seconds for that to be done. And if you edit one of these, it will edit for every computer. It will update it. And if we look now into our Dropbox online, I look into the home, there's this file. Now it's a pages document, so you actually have to download it. So you can see how I organize it though, and you can have folders within folders within folders, and things will be all synced. So I hope that makes sense. Didn't want to go on too long about it, but it's nice to see when you add documents to your Dropbox that they do sync everywhere, including online. Thank you very much for watching, and have a great day.